Ukraine has cancelled retreat of the forces and continues military build-up in the conflict zone. Ukraine's security forces continue attacking residential areas. Russia's permanent representative to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, Andrei Kilian, said, adding that on November 25, a shell hit a minibus near Donetsk, killing two people and injuring eight others. Russia feels extremely negative about Ukraine's plans to join NATO, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said on a news conference after meeting Council of Europe General Secretary Thornbjorn Jagland. Everybody understands the malignity of NATO's further expansion, which only moves the demarcation lines on the continent, Lavrov said. Earlier, lawmakers in Ukraine have tabled proposals for the state to end its non-aligned status, while President Petro Poroshenko has warned deputies over West-leaning alliances. Members of the parliament want Ukraine to renounce its non-bloc status and return to a policy of reapproachment with NATO, saying it will strengthen Ukraine's position in defense and security issues. Meanwhile, NATO's newly agreed rapid reaction force in Eastern Europe is facing funding issues according to diplomats from the alliance's member states. The force, known as Spearhead, is expected to have 5,000 troops and should be fully operational by 2060. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.